everybody. Welcome to Katie Moonchild's World. I'm Katie, and we're here to see who our goddess is going to be for the month of November. Our goddess, appropriately, for the month of October is, has been Damara. She is the... Sorry, as I just cry, cruise on through, this is for entertainment purposes only, because this is oriented to world peace. Wouldn't want to be accused of doing anything inappropriate. Thank you. Now, back to what I was saying about the October card. The October goddess. Goddess? <laughs> goddess. Damara. She pointed out the children to us and how we need to uh, guide and direct the children. However, in this, um, kind of interesting to me, it seemed like she was guarding and talking to us about our inner children, not our physical, material children. Them too, but the child within and honoring and guiding your inner child. I know that's what I got a lot, a lot, a lot of messages about in the month of November. So we will be using over here on this, <laughs> this deck, the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. Yes, by Doreen Virtue. And let's see, what is our goddess? Who is she? Who is she for November? Put Damara back in here. Put Damara in here in case we get her again. And who do we have? Oh, the world fell off its axis. <laughs> and it just rolled right on away said no Gaia says I don't want to be a part of this anymore <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> thank you very much for the laugh you know endorphins are one of our biggest biggest blessings in our body you want to change your attitude in a hurry laugh or cry you don't want to cry but sometimes we need to release but you know laughing also releases stuff oh my gosh I'm shuffling in my lap. Oh dear, dear, help me. Okay, that's a good card, please. These poor cards are getting ratty. I need some new goddess cards. This card's been used a lot over the years. So who do we have? Let's go ahead and cut the cards. One, two, three. Who is she? Please? I guess I should have taken that uh, little trip of the, glo the globe some more, a little more seriously. Look who we have. Mawu! Mother Earth! Pachamama! Gaia! Thank you for the giggle and getting our attention in this one, Mother Earth. We're being called upon to help with environmentalism. This is very appropriate. I love it. I love this card. Let's see if I can get that a little bit clearer in our focus here. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to read to you what the book has to say about this. <laughs> can you believe that spirit? I love you so much. <laughs> Paying attention, everybody? <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't quit giggling. Anyway, the message from her is, there's no greater cause today than giving back to your mother and reckoning a friendship with the soil, air, and water. The earth is the life force for material life, and there is no reason in continuing a downward spiral of dirtying the planet with further pollution. Your contribution is necessary, no matter how small. You make a huge difference in this planet's welfare through small and simple changes in how you operate. It's worth it, believe me. I will help you accomplish this goal in all ways. This card is telling us that our life's purpose for this month involves environmentalism. 
from here on out, our life's purpose has got to involve environmentalism. Whether you want to believe in climate change, global warming, or whatever you want to call it, yeah, the planet's sick. The planet is changing. The planet has always gone through changes, but the planet is going through sick and accelerated changes because of our greed and disposal attitude, and it has to stop. This is telling us use earth-friendly products, recycle, and get involved with an environmental group. Around here, that's easy for me to do. They're constantly trying to put in uranium mines and copper mines all over the place. So yeah, I happen to belong to, the, to an organization of voters to contact our senators and representatives. <laughs> like I said, this could get political. The League of Conservation Voters, when there is something that is very important, they make sure that all the members know about it, know who to contact, and we do. We do. Now, whether those we contact listen or not is another story, but we do. And it does work, okay? So, belonging to an environmental group can be very powerful. <laughs> Speaking of environmental groups, back in 1976, I joined Greenpeace. Haven't been an active member every year since then. Haven't always had the money. But you know what? In my heart, I am every bit that person standing on the bow of that boat between the harpoon and the whale. I am 100% in this environmental thing ever since I was... Ah, ever since we moved to the national parks when I was three. So I guess I didn't really have a choice in how I think about Mother Earth. Her creatures were my playmates. Uh... <laughs> She provided my snacks in her. The pitch of the trees, the sweet, sweet water onions. Just living out and simple like that. I wish I could express that, that way of life to everyone. And I don't mean for you as an adult now to go there and try to capture that. I'm talking about being a child from three years old until I was nine years old. The six most important years of my life, I lived in three amazing national parks, and I would call all three of those very much portals. I know two for sure. Hey, first one was the Grand Canyon. So yeah, this is why I'm teaching you. I am here doing this because of my experience growing up as a child of the wild. i tell you a little bit about Mawa. She is the West African moon goddess who's believed to have created all life with her husband, the sun god, Liza. Mawa helps those who call upon her to learn how to live in harmony with nature and to respect its resources. She ensures that our needs are abundantly supplied without causing harm to the planet. She knows the balance. She is the balance that we keep trying to say we know better. So we dam the waters and say we're recycling our plastic when we're really dumping it in the ocean to the size of Manhattan. Mawa, this month, month of November, is a time of giving thanks. Give thanks, first of all, to the fact you're standing where you're standing on the face of this earth. Powerful card for this month. I'm going to put this up here because I'm also getting that there's a hint, there's a message. From spirit for us and it shouldn't be very long it's gonna be in my cards if i can get them out of the box <laughs> helps if you're smarter than the box <clears throat> i didn't say that did i okay spirit this is my deck of cards what message do you have for us from you for the month of november for the month of giving thanks for the month of gratitude
what is the focus of this month of gratitude and the action we need to take. Move you out, Amethyst. Focus is... Our focus needs to be to breathe. Just breathe. Just be in November. Be observant. Be kind. Be gentle to yourself and to others. Be like that hot air balloon in the air. And this is the time of year. If you can, do that literally. If you can make arrangements to get uh, a ride in a hot air balloon, it's fantastic. They do that here. As soon as the air gets cool enough for the uh, aloft for the uh, balloons to rise, and if you have the opportunity to go to Albuquerque <laughs> for that balloon festival, don't miss it. Don't turn that down. Don't skip it. That's amazing. We used to have a big balloon festival here, and it was cool when they would fly over the top of the house. I had a German Shepherd at the time, but freak him out, man. He'd be barking at witches and dogs and ice cream cones. Very clean. Uh, <laughs> all going over the house. And, you know, when they fire up, they make that sound. Oh, my dog would just go, bark, 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 bark. you go nuts. Just go nuts. They don't come here and do that anymore. I don't know why. I wonder why they, I can't even, don't remember why they stopped. That was 20 years ago. Anyway, the action for breathing. Just feel. Get in tune with your, um, yeah, with your solar plexus. It's the orange month, you know? It's the pumpkin pie time. Orange leaves, rusty leaves. Feel your emotions. What you got them for? Don't stuff them. Don't block them. Feel them. Let them flow through you. And finally, understand and connect with the angelic realm. Have you ever talked to the angels before? If you haven't, it's time to start. You'll be surprised how quick your answers come. Because that's all they're doing is just waiting for you to contact them and say, hey, can you? And they're going, boom, here. Ask and converse with the angels. <laughs> Through your crown chakra. Connect to source through your crown chakra so you can feel and you can hear the angelic realm so it is easier to breathe. I thank you so very much for being here. Be kind to yourself. Don't stuff your emotions, especially the ones that help you to understand and feel what is going on in your life and around you. Understand and feel what the angels are telling you. And then relax in the net of the cosmos and breathe. You are on a very special planet that is here to teach you, to guide you in love. Mawa is here as our reminder of that this month. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.